I just wanted to welcome you all to the conference room. Um, totally informal, at the behest of, of Steve. He wanted nothing fancy. He didn't want 50 certificates passed to him. He didn't no want wall, on no a walls, big stage. No wall space. No, no, <laughs> no wall space was available. And um, and we, uh, but we wanted to make sure that we recognized you formally, properly, for the amazing service that you have put in for this nation, uh, for the Army in particular, and then obviously um, just the folks that are here are testament to why this is a people organization and why the Army does people. Um, and so we certainly all appreciate you um, raising us right. Uh, I've, been, I've been the beneficiary of, of multiple years of supervision even though I've been primarily in the Elmo world, but even after the time that I spent here for a year, I was out at Fort Riley, Kansas, and, and Steve will laugh, because I would send, I sent him a note, I'm like, track pads, how hard is it to get track pads? I'm buying all these tracks for these tanks, and if I could just buy the 10 cent track pads, that would be great, and I wouldn't spend $90 on a track, uh, times however many thousands I was having to order, and uh, he, he was, he chuckled up here, he's like, and as soon as I showed back up, hey, uh, did you ever figure out that thing with the track pads? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, no, I continued to spend a hundred times as much money to get tracks on tanks than if I could just get the 15 cent track pads uh, to put on there once they started to wear down. So um, that's really just a testament to uh, the way he's taken care of the people that have come through here, the way he takes care of the force, and, and really the way he mentored guides and coaches everybody that he so, um, from BUO, uh, as Mr. Nether would put, when I was here, at only having been a lieutenant colonel for like a minute, um, to coming back here to be the DOS, it's just, it, it's really a privilege and an honor to be here on this day for you, just because we do have some history, and, and I'm really glad that I'm the one that's here, being able to help support you in your retirement. Um, and on, on behalf of the whole team and a couple individuals that weren't able to be here, uh, one for family issues and, and uh, a couple that are, are out with illness. We want to make sure to pass to you that uh, the whole team sends our very best to you in your retirement and you're and we're not done with you yet. So right. now now you're now you're on our time um, to pester you and and uh, continue to pull words of wisdom from from you as as you continue on your on your new path. So uh, with that, I'll, I'll pass it to the DDAP for some words. And then we have we have an award. It's a major award. A major, major, major award. award. In the spirit of the holidays. It's, it's, and it's not a lamp <laughs> with a fish, fishnet stocking either. So um, we took mercy on you in that regard. And then we have a certificate for you. And then uh, we have a, a, a present for you on behalf of the of the directors who present to you before before we're done with you today. So okay. Okay. With that. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Steve. So, first of all, it has been a pleasure working with you for just a short period of time, but I, I've learned a lot. Um, and on behalf of the DAP, who this may surprise you, he's busy on a phone call working CR impact. Of right? course. <laughs> yeah, uh, which we weren't going to do, but we all know, you know, those sort of things never die. Um, so. I just want to take a minute, especially for some of our younger folks, um, <clears throat> between your 20 years of active duty and your 31 years of civilian, right? I got that sure. right. That's 51 years of experience, okay? And the hard thing from a senior leader is I've leaned on you very heavily, you know, for all your experience, but how do you grow 51 years of experience? It takes 51 years. It takes 51 years? Yeah. So um, you're going to leave. Um, the Army will continue, OK? Uh, but we, you're going to leave a void. But I know, as Sarah has said, you've done a great job of trying to mentor and, and train your replacements. Um, but I, you just can't replace 51 years of experience. So um, first of all, I just want to say thank you, you know, on behalf of the nation and FMNC. But more importantly, I, I just want to say that you're going to be sorely miss okay um, so I, I just I know you don't quite have any plans but 
I don't want to see you running around the, the hallways here as a high paid contractor slash consultant. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good. Because I didn't know if you were looking for 52, 53 or no, as well. No. Okay. No, okay. All right. So, but no, in all seriousness, uh, we're going to miss you. Uh, you. You are irreplaceable, um, but we will continue on as the Army did. Um, and with that, I think we're going to present first the Superior uh, Service Medal. Um, a lot of people don't get these, okay? So this is quite an honor as a civilian to get one of these. And uh, do we have a citation? I do. Okay. Yes, All right. Attention to orders. Stephen E. Allenbach for superior performance of duty and exceptional leadership while serving as the Chief Revolving Funds Division, Operations and Support Directorate, Army Budget Office, and the Office of the Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Army, Financial Operations and Information from June 2010 to December 2022. Mr. Allenbach provided invaluable leadership, customer service, and expertise in programming, budgeting, and execution of the Army Working Capital Fund. His actions and leadership resulted in extraordinary contributions throughout the duration of his tenure and were vital to the success and mission of the Army Budget Office. Mr. Allenbach's exemplary achievements, commitment to excellence, and dedication to duty are in keeping with the highest traditions of government service and are a great credit to him, the Office of the Assistant Secretary of Army Financial Management and Comptroller, and the Department of the Army. Signed, Carol E. Spangler, Assistant Secretary of the Army Financial Management and Comptroller. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Take this off the flash. Right. That's right. We good? Yeah. Good song? Sure. All right. Okay, we got one more. Certificate of Appreciation. <clears throat> the Certificate of Appreciation is awarded to Stephen E. Allenbach. On the occasion of your retirement, I wish to extend to you my personal thanks and the appreciation of the United States Army for the many years of service which you have given to our country. I share your pride in the contributions you have made to the Army, and I trust that you will maintain an active interest in the Army and its objectives during your retirement. You take with you my best wishes and those of your fellow employees for happiness and success in the years that lie ahead. Signed, Carol E. Spangler, Assistant Secretary of the Army, Financial Management and Comptroller. Okay, so this is a retirement pin. Um, I, the nice thing about the retirement pin, it has a safety clasp, so that when you put it on your pajamas, you don't have to <laughs> opening up in the evening well, and stabbing yourself. Well, at least you didn't use your fist to implant it. Uh, wait. Uh, I guess we'll do that. And this is a great honor. So you've got two of these now, right? One from the, the Army and one from the, the Army as a civilian. I do. All right, Steve, I'm going to turn the floor over to you. You bet. Thank you very much. First, let's... Well, I'm, I'm standing between you and the cake. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Car Carbelli, thank you very much, uh, gentlemen. He slipped in. He slipped in. And, and, yes. uh, and, and thank you very much. It's, it's much appreciated. Uh, yeah. What am I going to do? <laughs> uh, uh, the day will be filled up, I'm sure. Uh, with, with whatever, and I, like I mentioned, I have no plans to walk down the hall and be a contractor or an advisor or or whatever. Uh, but uh, you you will all have my uh, way to reach me, uh, uh, address, email, phone number. Uh, that'll that'll be available to you. Uh, reach out anytime. Um, and who knows, I might inquire and say, how are things going? So, um, but it's been a, it's been an interesting road. Uh, a lot, a lot of fun at times, sometimes not a lot of fun, <laughs> but uh, uh, entered active duty in 71. So that was a long time ago. Uh, different army, different, different things, but in a lot of ways it hasn't changed. Uh, so uh, keep doing what you're doing. 
uh, thank you for what you do. And uh, I know you will be fine. Like you said, the Army is not going to stop because somebody left. Uh, you're in great hands. Uh, working capital fund team is in good shape. And uh, they will continue to do well. And again, thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's been great service with you. So now you can have the cake. <laughs> something to start to entertain you and that is a liberty puzzle it's a, a wooden jug, uh, jigsaw puzzle and it's the declaration of independence of which i will just have to note because mr nethery couldn't be here you were probably <laughs> <witness to this. laughs> now i need a table <laughs> I will, I will let you know how this works out. This is great. Wow. We also have a card, Steve, signed by Mr. Okay. Did you want to say anything? God, I know. Thanks for everybody coming today. Um, he probably remembers, most of you did not, but uh, I was in the, the DABS front office as a young XO learning how to spell working capital. Oh. And they would come in every week because at the time, we were the opposite of what we are. Well, we're doing okay today, cash-wise. We were, we were really good back then, and it was being used as a source. So that every week they were in to discuss where we could apply that source. And having those discussions with Team AMC and with the Congress, uh, with DSMs, as well as with OSD and others. So, um, but uh, I learned a lot backseating those. My introduction to the whole concept of working capital fund is not something that we that we do out in the field, except within Team AMC, really, for the most part. Um, but important, but yeah, a true developer of leaders, as he said, they all come from good hands, largely part of the team that he's built over the years and been part of so long. But I thought I'd share that story of, yep, it's been a long time, and they then captain learning about working capital fund and, and now having to, to defend it as it is now to hold on to the, the, what we gained, with, the ground that we've gained with it uh, to make sure that we take care of our, our Please, all the best to you. Thanks, sir. Next phase, and like I said, you will, I know you'll stay in touch with the team, just checking them, and they'll do the same with you as well. So thank you, and all the best. Thank you. All right, so uh, we'll, we'll start cutting the cake, but everyone's welcome just to stick around and mingle. The intent is just to be very informal. Um, and enjoy our, our company with Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.